Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. You are just in time because we're about to spend some time in the kitchen with the one and only Clem Pedro. Now, I have a very fun fact for you. Peanut butter is one of the most underrated yet versatile products you have in your pantry. And just to prove our point, we are bringing you a deliciously chewy peanut butter snack bar. It's something you can add for your lunchbox. It's something you can add for a little snack around the desk or even for breakfast because peanut butter deserves a price for versatility this morning for you to get munching. And the man that's going to show us this delicious recipe is right next to me. Chef Clem, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am good. You know, what peanut butter just gets me energized literally and like <laughs> i get it yeah. but like i am obsessed with peanut butter peanut butter milkshakes peanut butter ice cream peanut butter shortbread cookies you know the this 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 is what we're making yeah and it's so honestly easy to make and i feel like if you start your day off with your best foot forward you're like you're in a very good place and you're like 80% of the way to having the best day ever. And can I tell you, there's something about peanut butter. I don't feel like people need to be intimidated with it because this, for some reason, people think peanut butter is an unhealthy thing to have in your house, but it's not. You get sugar-free options. There are various different nut yeah. butters you get. But of course, our hero ingredient today mm -hmm. is this particular peanut butter. And this particular one is my favorite. It's a sugar-free, salt-free one. And in a few weeks, I'm actually gonna teach you how to make this peanut butter from scratch at home. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. I'm looking forward it's to that. It's my favorite. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. We're gonna add some sweetness and some texture. We're using dates and it's actually gonna be like kind of the glue that holds it all together. Mm -hmm. And dates again, they're nature's caramels. They are so delicious. And just and, like- But in general, dates are amazing. They yeah. fun, the fruit and in real life, like dates are amazing. They are really, really amazing. And also when you get that like, our, you know, the three o'clock slump. Ours is a bit different because our day starts like a lot early in the day, but you know what I'm talking about, the three o'clock slump. If you just have one of these, it's all you need to actually get you like to the end of the day. To the end of the day. I mean, to the end you need of the to day. get home for the family meal time, to be there with the kids going to bed. So this is really the perfect snack you can add to your work from home snack. Box. Absolutely. And these are medjool dates that have been dated, um, stoned, de-stoned already. Okay. The pit's been taken out. And then all I want to do is add a little bit of water to it, and that's going to just help it break it down. Okay. So at the moment, what you've popped into this blender here is just the dates. Just the adding dates. some water. And then, like I said, the water is only going to just help break it down, so we get that perfect texture to mix our puffed rice through. Okay, so you don't need a lot. You just, don't need a lot. You just need a little bit to add some liquids because whenever you put anything into a blender, it wants a bit of liquid. It does, just to help like blend everything. There we go. And that's all you want. You just wanted to break it up. There and then go. I'm going to ask you now if Please. you can start mixing the puff rice. We can do this together. Okay, put me to work. So puffed rice for me, I mean, it's again, it's literally as the name says, it's rice. That's just been... I'm not clumsy. It's fine. I'm not clumsy. I'm, I'm, I'm worse than you, so this no, is No, I doubt fine. that. I'm an awkward lefty to the max. Okay, cool. This is for you. Okay, puff thank you. Puff rice going in. So we're using the Woolies puff rice cereal, and what I love about this is you get the chocolate, you get the strawberry flavor, and you can kind of play around with it. I would definitely, I've made this batch now with the plain one. The next batch I'm gonna make is gonna be with the chocolate. Okay, with the chocolate. I, I like the idea of the strawberry because then you can add some pink to it. Oh yes, absolutely. Another thing is about those strawberry flavored puff rice, it's actually colored using beetroot. Oh. So they don't use any artificial colorings. And that's also nice to know that it's, I think this year is a very important year to really put emphasis on, you know, where is the food coming from that you are consuming and also just to realize the impact it has on the environment. Exactly. Talking about food this year, do you have any new food resolutions for 2021? Yes. So I have a couple of takeaway apps on my phone and one of the New Year's resolutions was I'm going to try not to use it. How are you doing so, so far? So I haven't used it and I've been trying really hard to get to the grocery store before uh -huh. it closes because after radio um it's too late to go to the grocery store so i need to work that into my day which requires planning but the big thing for me is to prep my own meals instead I, of i love that i love that or, or just buying meals where you can see every ingredient that's in it so that for me is important. i dig it i'm gonna be a bit cheeky now i like knowing what people are cooking for dinner what's in your fridge but i also want to know like what are your new year's resolutions foodie resolutions this year resolutions. i'm very interested and I actually okay. read them Okay. I want to know. Well, Mine I... is to do more meal prepping. Meal prepping, okay. Because I get home late important. at night, and then I end up cooking, and then I only have dinner at like almost 10 o'clock at night, and then we have to be here like 
early, the early, early morning. So yeah, more meal prepping. Well, this is <clears throat> technically meal prepping. I mean, if I'm looking at our peanut butter rice cake bars, this mm -hmm. is meal prepping that you can save for the week. I mean, how long would this last? If you had to make This would fat? last in the fridge, honestly, the whole week. The whole week? The whole week. A type container. Yeah, absolutely. And then, okay, I'm gonna fast forward now. So what I've done is I've added some desiccated coconut, some vanilla, some of that peanut butter, and we're gonna just mix it through. The thing about vanilla, it makes food a lot sweeter than what it actually is. Okay. Because of that sense of vanilla. So you actually don't end up needing a lot more sugar in whatever you're using when you use vanilla. Plus okay, we so are using sugar-free peanut butter. Peanut exactly. Butter. But we're getting the sweetness from the dates, but still that vanilla just yeah. makes it that more delicious. And it makes you feel like you're really having a treat. It's that vanilla cheat when actually it's just breakfast or that pick-me-up in the middle of the day. There you go. So you've done an amazing job. Thank you. I'm going to then... What you're gonna do is pack it into a container. You can do, you know those mini muffin, I think it's called a Kolovenki muffin tin. Those tiny little. Okay. Yeah. Just those call are it a mini muffin tin. Those are great because, all the mini muffin tins, those are great because what you're gonna do is you'll make individual sized ones. Look at us, we're cleaning as we're going. Also, New Year foodie resolution. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Quick Look at everybody on the side here Nicole, Kelly nodding their head. Wow, how long is that gonna last? These are I'm our trying. kitchen fairies. These I'm are trying. our kitchen fairies. So, what are you doing now? You're just putting it yeah. into a base. You don't have to use no. a ceramic tin. No, you use, can use that a little cake. mini muffin tin. Do it in a square thing, whatever you wanna use. Okay. These are quite cute because when you're done, if you do it in a pie dish, you can cut little tiny little slices, little wedges out of it. Mm. Again, oh, making it seem like an absolute treat. Okay. So I've got some malted chocolate, and chocolate's not bad, especially if you're using the dark chocolate, that's also pretty good. You can mm -hmm. Jackson Pollock it over the top if you want, or there you can just go. spread it over the top. And then what you're gonna do is let it sit in the fridge, pop it out, cut it into any size shapes you want, and your breakfast, your three o'clock snack, your anytime snack, traffic snack is done. Ah, oh, traffic snack, I'm here for that because I think a lot of people, you know, on their way from home, you want to snack on something that you know is going to be sustainable but also not fill you with unnecessary 100%. sugars. Well, Clem is staying with us this morning. He just showed you how to make this delicious um, peanut butter and puff rice bar that is perfect for any snack time. If you want the steps to this recipe and the ingredients, make sure you visit woolworths.co.za. Everything is online for you to get. But in case you missed a step, we have a recap for you.